Hello you guys, welcome back to another episode of You guys, I am excited to show you this wine because I tried it recently and it's probably one of the best red wines I've ever had, like no joke. So today I'm gonna be drinking um, the Trader Joe's Growers Reserve Cabernet Sauvignon. It's so good, like it has the perfect amount of like sweetness, but also just like, mm, so good. Let's see what it explains it as. Simple, fruity with black plum and blackberry and spiced cinnamon. It's like the perfect fall wine. You guys have to try it and let me know if you do because I know you guys will probably love it too. It's so good. Let's get this cork out. Um, but today's video, I'm gonna be diving in a little more and showing you guys Wix. I was working on developing the website I designed with you guys on my last Wix video, but we did redesign the website. So now I'm just kind of, well now I'm taking that on Adobe XD and developing it onto Wix. So I wanted to show you guys how I take an XD file make it a Wix website, totally custom. And, um, whoa, this stuck. So let me pour myself some of this. So good. Also, I wanted to mention that I posted a new podcast today. So make sure to go check that out. I've noticed that a lot of you guys have downloaded the podcast, which makes me so happy. It's definitely something I'm not gonna be like on a schedule with. I kind of just wanna post podcasts when I feel the urge to talk about something on a more like non-visual way, if that makes sense, because I feel like the videos here, I need to show you guys visually what I'm doing. But um, the podcast, I kind of talk about any topic and I've been really enjoying doing that. So make sure to check that out, it'll be down below. And if you do check it out, let me know what you think about it. I'm looking into getting a microphone, so please bear with me as I am kind of like on the cheap side of things and using like apps and all that but we'll we'll get there eventually and we'll invest in like some actual things soon but let's try some wine it's literally so good i really want you guys to try it um because it's one of the best i've had from their trader joe's line so I'm excited to hop on over my screen, show you guys what I am talking about in terms of Wix, and show you guys really the back end and how to really design on there. I know last time I compared Divi and Wix, but this time it'll be mainly just showing Wix and the capabilities of customization on there. So let's hop on over to my screen. Today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how I develop the website. So what I'm gonna do now is pull up my Adobe XD. She approved the design so we're free to to finish this up and I'm kind of excited to do that because this lasted this project lasted way longer than um, I thought. So we actually went back to the drawing board, redesigned it. So typically I don't redesign. I don't allow for more revisions after the design's confirmed but I made the mistake of starting to build it out when it wasn't fully confirmed just because I wanted to like, I was excited to use Wix, I wanted to try it out. So I had no problem going back and redesigning it. So basically what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna share this as development and that'll just help me because I can download some of the files off of this whole thing and I can just reference that as I'm building out the website. So, perfect. Let me check this real quick. And the link is almost done. So yeah, this is a new website. There's some placeholder images right now because we don't have some of these headshots, but overall I'm happy with how it came out. It's simple, super simple website nothing crazy involved in it, which is perfect for me. First Wix one. Okay, so now I'm opening up that development link here. The saved are those, which is kind of annoying, but for now, I can add the colors and fix those theme options by using this. So let's go to theme manager in here. 
And I'm gonna pull this color first. Perfect. Railway poppins. We're good there. Now I can actually close this. I don't really need the assets it saved there. So what I'm gonna do is export through here. So I'm gonna click. So basically I'm just gonna be exporting all of these ones here into their own folder so that I can just kind of build without having to go back and forth the whole time. And this will just help save a lot of time, so. All right, so I have to kind of redesign the whole page, so I'm just gonna let it run, and I will hop in here and talk to you guys if needed, but a lot of this will just kind of be visual. I'm not that great at multitasking, so let's get to designing. You look at me like I'm crazy. When I shut my feelings out You look at me like I'm different Still you stay cause you feel something real Get so lost in my moments Doesn't mean I don't need you I, 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 I fell in love with your colors They kinda tell me what I'm thinking I fell in love with the way we are and the way we lose it There's something different about us And the reason why we stay Stay We fly around like paper planes They never know where we will fall Nobody can see us Still they wanna tear us apart There's something different about the way we are Cup after cup Yeah, it's just the way we do it Anything just to block out the real life Real life Yeah, we're loving the way they Think we're so messed up Something different about the way we are guys I just did the first two halves of the page still have a little details I need to add but I just wanted to kind of talk through how custom your designs can really be and how I basically take everything on my XC and transfer it there so right now I'm gonna export this let me make sure it's grouped I'm going to export this image here and just kind of walk you guys through like a simple part of building a Wix website so there we go so Wix has things called strips which is what these are right here so when you are creating different sections of the website you have to add a new strip um, you can add a completely blank one like a classic one like that change the background and just work off of that or you can um, choose from their strip templates which is really cool so if I were to go over here we have like all these different templates to choose from. So you can kind of keep these in mind as you're designing your website so the like client can see it before you send them the design approval. But that is a pretty cool option. So I'm gonna change this strip background. I'm gonna go image and I have a folder on my desktop that I am pulling the images from. Not the most organized, but that's all right. She also has some purchased images, which is really cool because you can kind of collaborate with your client. If I go to my boards, 
purchased images, I will be able to see all the images the client has purchased. So you can actually tell them that. Be like, hey, when we sign up for Wix, you can go through and some of the photos are like a dollar. Um, double click it. So yeah, she purchased all these, so that's pretty cool, but the one I have in here is one that she approved, so there we go. I added it in, and then you can stretch the strip so that the image um, fits the text that you have there. And I'm going to just make it white text and change it to match the Adobe XD exactly. And as you can see, I actually have spacing on my text in here. So let's actually, uh, I'm gonna change this to 30. But let's go to the theme manager real quick and make sure that I can do that. So paragraph one, that's what I thought. I ran into this issue before where I can't change the spacing in between text, which is just the only annoying part about Wix. So that's another thing to keep in mind, but you can literally physically go in here and go to, where is it? Oops. Um, I think it's down here, spacing. You can do it in here and then just like copy and paste this paragraph of text and work off that. I'm gonna do that because I just wanted to match the Adobe XD perfectly. And I love these guides. I love how Wix has guides like that because that just makes designing so seamless. It's so satisfying. Love it. And also you wanna make sure you're designing off strips too because when I drag this, it'll give me the guides within the strip, which is really nice as well. It gives me a little warning since it's outside of the grid lines, which is fine because when I go to preview, this is the full website frame. So I know it's outside the lines. Um, also this, I have noticed with the Wix mobile version, doesn't reflect that well. So you kind of have to redesign the entire mobile, which is also a little bit annoying because Divi it does a great job of reflecting what you did to match mobile. Um, so that actually is a really big downfall to Wix. But we're focused on desktop right now, so let's get desktop done. But yeah, I just made this section here. And I redesigned this entire section as well, so we got to figure that out. Let's actually keep this within the grid lines and just see if it helps with the mobile version. Bring that down a little. Okay. Preview that pretty good and basically I was working on this section here so let me make sure that this is in its own strip cool it is so what I'm going to do is since I already have some of the text in here I can kind of just like redesign it easily which is really nice so let's export all of these So that it fits the correct sizing. Get rid of those. Get rid of that. Now I can add in those images. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little disappointed in the mobile version of Wix, and I'm I'm thinking to myself right now how much work that's gonna be to have to redesign all of Wix. It's gonna be a lot. Okay guys, I'm just gonna design, I'll continue recording a little bit, and um, I'll talk to you guys after.
much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Are you guys using Wix? Because I would love to know if you guys have tried the platform, if you like the platform. I'm really enjoying it. So I wanted to show you guys a little more about the details of Wix. Let me know, like I said, down below what you guys' thoughts were. If you did like this video, I would appreciate it so much. If you gave it a thumbs up, subscribe down below, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.